Hi, my name's John. Welcome to part two of the review of the Artec 50 amp plasma cutter. What I'll do, I'll do a little bit about safety, I'll do a little bit about the torch, the consumables in the torch, I've got a circle cutting tool, I'll do a little bit about that, and then we'll take it all outside and cut some shit up. Well, I've got a power supply to the unit, I've got an air in at the back of the unit, and I've got the air pressure set to 50 psi. We turn the unit on, uh, the torch becomes live, it's got a trigger going on so you can't accidentally press the torch, set it away. <coughs> we turn it on, we press the trigger, what we've got, we've got to pay it off. It makes it easier to start your cut, it burns off any paint, any oil, it's good for interrupted cuts. But what you must do is, you must make sure the piece you're going to cut has got an earth on it, it's grounded to the machine. You can't just treat that like a piece of something. Things must be good. Naturally, you need to wear protection on your hands, gloves, I wear welding, not take welding gloves. In your eyes, you need eye protection. You see a lot of people, they wear elaborate sunglasses. Which, I suppose you can get a sunglasses that would stop the UV rays burning your eyes. What happens when it blows back and all the spatter hits in the face? I use a full face screen with a number 5 shade in it. Some people use a darker one, that's what I use. For what they cost, I've got a tenner. It's not worth messing about. There's a couple of safety features on it. Like I said already, you've got the, the trigger guard. Also, if the air pressure is too low, it won't fire up. If you, if you remove part of it, if you take the front off there, it won't fire up. I'll take it apart and show you what the consumables are, how you change them. The first thing I'm going to do is isolate it from the mains. It's already turned off there. I'm going to pull the plug out. Right, this is my torch. It's got a metal guide on there. What that does, it keeps a tip of the torch the right distance away from the, the surface I'm going to cut, ideally between one and two millimetres. That's just a spring clip, it unclips. Ceramic bit unscrews. And you've got a cutting jet that unscrews. And you've got an electrode that unscrews. That's a bit that wears away the electrode in the cutting jet. There's a rubber seal inside of there. So the electrode simply screws in. Nip it up with a pair of pliers. Cutting jet screws in. Same again, just a gentle nip. Ceramic screws on. Goes onto there like that. Means when you're cutting, you could have it. You could use it as a gate to go up and cut on an edge. See, all it does it keeps it the right, the right distance away from the workpiece, which is ideally between one and two millimeters. This is 19 mil plate, 3 quarter inch plate, we're going to go straight in and try and cut that. Genuine 19mm clean cut. 
put a bit of 24mm, a bit of inch, we'll try that. Severance cut. That's a bit of three quarter inch plate we've just cut straight through, nice and clean. It will cut, it will cut the inch stuff, but it's it's a little bit rough and raggy at the end, but it does cut it. A little bit of rusty half inch plate, nice straight edges again, we'll cut straight down there. Not much the matter with that. We've also set this up with a gate for cutting circles, which is handy because I have got a circle to cut. It's got three bases, one goes into a centre point, one's got a magnet on, and one actually goes to a bolt hole. I'll we'll probably try and use a magnetic one. That gets a good hold. Right, so what we've got, we'll take that off our torch. That plugs over the top of our torch. There's a little iron key there. Just nip it on. That bit's free to turn, and it's actually set. For your correct, correct depth of cut, once again, one to two mil. So quite simply, you've got two different lengths, lengths of rods which can screw together, different diameter circles, so that screws onto there. Your magnetic base goes onto there. So you would simply clamp your base onto there, whatever size circle you wanted and I want to put a 10 circle in it 5 mil plate 10 circle
box with. So 1.5 mil plate, make an interrupted cut into a cutting mesh. I've got it down now to 30 amps. So the pen and arc is worth straight across. I'm quite happy to cut aluminium from anything conductor the plasma will cut. It won't cut three quarter aluminium but it'll cut half inch. This is six mil quarter. Here's the rest. The effortless, nice and clean as well. This is the thicker bit, this is 12 mil, nearly half inch. Straight through it. Quarter is copper. Brass. Here, fill it up. Stainless. Messing over hacksaws and oxycetylene, oxypropane, warping things, grinding discs. You know, all the grinding discs you're going to use to cut through some of like that. That's half the plate, not the thing. Before the wife gets back, looks like an electric meter. <laughs>
Hello. 